Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? All right, spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Pisces? For Pisces, what messages do you have, spirit, for Pisces? Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. What else for Pisces? Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Interesting. So someone from your past is returning to your life and it looks like it's gonna head somewhere stable here bottom of the deck stay optimistic about your love life well all right let's see what that's all about tell me more spirit what's going on in this connection between pisces and their person between pisces and their person what's going on here seven of cups reverse Okay, what's going on here for Pisces? Oh, that's way too many, but I'll take the first one. Excuse me, strength, Leo energy, and then just in case you're curious, Ten of Cups, Knight of Coin, Two of Cups, Reverse, High Priestess, Reverse. Hmm. So I feel like there was a separation in the past due to something coming out here. <clears throat> and someone wants to reconcile clearly with the Knight of Coin. What's going on in this connection between Pisces and their person? The wheel reverse. I feel like the timing isn't right or wasn't right for you. What's this? Page of Swords reverse. Something, um, hmm, maybe communication was cut off. Let's see. Tell me more for Pisces. Seven of Cups reverse. This can mean two very different things, so I'm going to clarify to see. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, someone with a Leo in their chart. But I feel like this is about someone wanting to, I don't know, regain control, I feel. Um, can I, like, shuffle my deck? Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. What is this? The Seven of Cups reverse. The star, Aquarius energy. Okay. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah. This is someone wanting to heal something that was a mistake. Someone made the wrong choice here with the Seven of Cups reverse. Their initial choice was an illusion or, um, or the wrong cup. Their judgment may have been blocked. Um, or perhaps they realize that their judgment has been blocked all this time because with the star, they're wanting to heal, renew something here. Yeah. Three of swords reverse. This is about healing. It could be that their bad choice was a third party. Maybe they got into a long-term commitment with someone else. Tell me more about the seven of cups reverse. Ten of Cups, yeah. This is someone that wants to have a happy ending. They made a mistake in the past and they paid for it. Or at least they feel like they did. Now with strength, they could also need... Um, courage here. Perhaps they need courage to approach you. 
twice strength here. The lovers reversed Gemini energy. Could be a separation. Again, this is regret over a past choice with the lovers reverse. This is probably somebody that needs to make a new choice here. Why is this a uh, strength card here? Eight of Pentacles. Why is strength here? For Pisces. Nine of Wands. This person, I feel, in their mind, they're picturing that this is going to take a lot of work. Perhaps they were a workaholic. I don't know why I got that, but I feel like someone, they focus more on the what they had to do outside of this connection. They weren't able to give to this connection. Um, or perhaps this person's realizing that due to their mistake, it's going to take a lot to bring this back into balance. A lot of focus, a lot of effort, a lot of energy. Because I feel like this caused a separation. Um, they, there's probably trust issues, baggage. Um, someone that is wary of this person's intentions. Because in the past, they made a wrong choice. Seven of Cups reverse. Again. So why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Two of Wands reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Ace of Wands at the bottom. Very interesting. This is someone that I feel like despite the challenges ahead or despite things not working out or despite things not being in their favor, despite the fact that you're probably completely pissed at them, <laughs> um, I feel like they still want to try. They still want to try. They still want to make you an offer here. Like they want to, to show you that they're committed to you. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Perhaps this is going to piss someone else off. Why is the King of Swords reverse? Yeah. This is about what already happened. You were probably very upset at them because of what happened. Because of how things ended. But they're going to still try. This could also be someone else in their life. If this is some sort of situation where they chose another person and got into another commitment, if that is your story, this could be somebody that in their life that does not want their connection to end. Sorry, I hit the tripod. So let's get some more information about how you feel about each other. Give me some more information here for Pisces, please. Actually, how do I, I think it's like, nope, it's not like that. I think it's like this. Is it like this? Yes. Tell me more for Pisces, yeah. Hold on. Let's make sure I do this right. I never really have to think about this because I always shuffle my cards reverse and upright like there is a healthy mix so it doesn't really matter how i shuffle but if i want them all to be upright i have to shuffle a certain way anyways tell me about pisces and the energy they're bringing to this connection tell me about pisces and the energy they're bringing to this connection Ooh, we got the buffalo Very steady energy. The buffalo 
they're not really swayed by outside factors. They are looking straight ahead. No matter wh what the road leads to, they're ready. Let me see what else I can tell you about the buffalo here. Grounded, practical, heavenly, spiritual. Buffalo sees challenge, hardship, or a bump in the road as an opportunity for uplift, upliftment. Therefore, the buffalo does not fear. Its gentle eyes look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. Yep. So I feel like you are very steady when it comes to this connection. Almost like there's nothing that can really rock you at this point. I don't know why that is. Pisces, feel free to let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you. I feel like when it comes to this person, it's almost like nothing's going to really shake you up. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Oh my god, two. Otter. So I feel like this is someone, possibly a very young energy. Um, it could be somebody that is very happy to be around you. Or that you make them happy. You bring like a childlike wonder to their life. Very joyful, playful energy with the otter. This person could have a good sense of humor. Or they might think you do. And earthworm. So this is somebody that wants to, again, begin again. This is someone that's ready to... Um, they don't mind trying new things and starting over. Okay, so let's see what else can we get about these energies. Let me just put this here. Let me use my, my if I can pick it up, my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that you can print at home. It's linked down below if you're curious. Two more script about Pisces. Tell me more about Pisces and the energies they're bringing to this connection. Tell me more. Burdened heart. Difficulty, overwhelmed, tired, burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So I feel like you've been through a lot with this person, or this person has maybe put you through a lot, Pisces. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Okay, we got difficult decision and strong bonds family union partnership there's strong bonds in this connection you could have children together or maybe this person isn't in a family situation they have a difficult decision to make and then bottom of the deck i have free spirit i feel like they want to be um free to choose a new path or free to choose a new um like a new outcome for themselves, like a new a new cycle. Like they want to do their own thing, be free of expectations or anything like that. So let's see. Oh, I'll just leave this here. How do you feel about each other? Probably shouldn't have lifted those cards, but I kinda wanna see. Tell me about Pisces and this person that they're dealing with. What are they thinking or feeling about each other for the month of December? How is Pisces thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? That is way too many. How is Pisces thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Queen of Pentacles. Again, very steady and grounded energy. Like, you're good. I feel like you have a lot to offer, a lot to bring to this connection. Very generous, giving. 
Maybe you're a business person or someone that does well financially for yourself. Five of Pentacles. But I feel like in your mind something's missing. Now, Pisces, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. Um, the energies can be flipped. You could have felt abandoned, left behind by this person. Page of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like you want a long-term stability, a long-term commitment. You don't want anything else. You want something or someone that meets you at your level. Regardless of if you're struggling inwardly, you don't let it show. You know, being burdened, overwhelmed, I don't feel like you let it show. And if you are having difficult difficulties financially, I feel like you're able to figure it out. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. I feel like when it comes to this person, they haven't been able to make you a solid offer or something worth your time. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. Ooh, those came out like right away. Okay, we got the Queen of Swords reversed, Three of Cups reversed, and the Six of Wands. So this person, there, there could be an interference here, a third party energy with Three of Cups reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, I feel like this person is in a connection of some sort or tied down by family or expectations. I feel like um, this person, when they think of you, they think of how mad or upset you are at them. They could even, um, you know, they want to be successful, but I wonder if they're want, willing to do the right thing in order to have that success, you know, because I have the Queen of Swords reversed. And they tend to be um, cold, uh, deceptive. So let's see, why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? King of Swords reverse. Someone could have um, deceived you. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? That's way too many. Tell me more, Spirit, about the Five of Pentacles for Pisces. This person could have deceived you. Higher font reverse Taurus energy. There could have been a broken commitment here due to someone being deceptive or someone screwing up badly here. I feel like this is what someone's trying to fix. This your person. What's this? The lovers, Gemini energy, Ace of Wands reverse, Seven of Wands reverse. Yes, this person needs to be willing to fight for something new but that's going to require a choice a new choice why is the page of pentacles reverse eight of swords fear feeling stuck trapped in a situation why is the page of pentacles reverse I feel like you know this the situation that this person finds themselves in. For some reason, you, you, you know what they're going through. It's like you know that they're already in another commitment or something like that. You have the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. I feel like you know this person. Like you know them well. I'm not sure why, but you know them well. Ace of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like this is something that, you know, there's no ignorance here. There's absolute clarity, truth, communication. You could be um, communicating with this person or you want the truth from this person. Temperance energy at the right behind that, Sagittarius. Um, this is um, truth or clarity that brings about balance. I feel like you've been patiently waiting for the truth. And I feel like this truth you already know, Pisces. Let me know if I'm right about that. Because I feel like a lot of you, you already know the truth. You just want this person to tell it to you. You want them to overcome their fear. 
or break free of whatever situation they find themselves in and just tell you the truth that kind of energy why is the queen of swords reverse i have three people here queen of swords and actually four people i have a queen of swords reverse king of swords reverse and then I have the king, queen of pentacles and king of pentacles upright i feel like this is the past these the, the swords are the past and the pentacles are what someone wishes for the future I feel like that's the case for a lot of you like this was the past and that's not what you're interested in why is the queen of swords reverse or perhaps you're still not um clear on this what happened in the past and now that's you want someone that meets you at your level so this isn't good enough anymore tell me about the queen of swords reverse ten of pentacles Someone could have already been in a long-term commitment and lied to you, or someone's deception affected a long-term commitment. King of Wands. I feel like someone here wasn't faithful or um, was playing around, wasn't serious. And there's the Seven of Cups reverse. Yep. A whole different deck here. We had the Seven of Cups reverse in three different decks. Someone made the wrong choice. Why is this Three of Cups reverse about? Why is the Three of Cups reverse here? Knight of Cups. This is someone in Six of Swords. This is someone that could be coming to apologize to you for the third party energy or for whatever interference got in the way of this connection. They could be coming to offer you love or declare love for you. I have the Knight of Wands at the bottom here. Yeah, this person wants success with you. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups reverse? Yeah, and in their mind, um, you might not accept them with the Four of Cups. You might not be open to this um, because maybe you've waited too long or in your mind, this isn't going to go anywhere or you don't want to jump into this again because in your mind, you already know how it's going to end. It's one of those things is what I'm feeling here. So what's next for this connection? What is next? So I'm going to pick a few cards here and then I'll... And let's see, what's next for this connection for Pisces and this other person? What's next? What's next for Pisces? And this? Okay, we got the Three of Wands. What's next for this connection? High Priestess. What's next for this connection? It's like someone's just waiting for the other person to come right out with it. Maybe you're waiting for this person to, yeah, to speak to you because there has been maybe um, silence, a waiting period here, time that has passed. Maybe there's not a lot of communication or someone's keeping something to themselves still and you're just kind of waiting for them to just tell you the truth or just bridge that gap open communication again bottom of the deck i have the hierophant so taurus energy commitment contracts um values 